Secrets of the World's Best Hotel, the best hotel in the world was built by a pope and was regularly visited by one of Italy's most famous opera composers. Napoleon Bonaparte and Winston Churchill have stayed and walked through the grounds. Pasolacqua, you could say, was always destined for big things. On September 19th in London at the inaugural World's 50 Best Hotels, the hotel on Lake Como was named number one. The judges, a team of industry experts, chose to go with this 24-suite family-owned property instead of one run by a major brand. There are thousands of luxury hotels across the globe but only one Pasolacqua. It feels almost even redundant referring to it as a hotel. Because it's so much more. It pays homage to another time and place, and, through an extraordinary, indulgent voyage, takes you there, Silvio Vettorello, general manager, attributes the win to three unique attributes. Meraviglia, amazement, that sense of awe you feel in a place that is everything you imagined and yet still manages to amaze and astonish you. Storia, history, the history of an 18th century mansion that, even with echoes of a past era, makes you so easily feel at home. And familia, family, in every sense, but particularly one that comprises the 100 incredible humans that every day go above and beyond to make magic for our guests, making sure every dream comes true, theirs and ours. How to build a world-class hotel, Pasolacqua saw regular visits from composer Vincenzo Bellini, Pasolacqua threw open its doors in 2022 after a three-year restoration. The owners, the local De Santis family, are no strangers to luxury hospitality, they own the Grand Hotel Tremezzo also on Como, known for its lake floating pool. Owners Antonella Malone and Paolo DeSantis handed over to their 41-year-old daughter, Valentina DeSantis, to open the property. The CEO of their company, Valentina, who was responsible for bringing it back to its former glory, she says every single day.